Do you hate using the mouse? What if you could use another body part like your foot to do the clicking and page up and page down instead? Wouldn't that be great? Well, it's possible using what they call in the industry a foot switch or a foot pedal. It's like a car's gas pedal and clutch if you knew how to drive a standard shift and you use your feet instead of the hand, which is really great. You can program these foot pedals to do whatever you want, but I have mine to click, page up and page down, and I use it constantly. It's the best thing. According to the Canadian Center for Occupational Health and Safety, computer users use the mouse almost three times as much as the keyboard. And using a mouse involves a lot of complicating activities. When you're using a mouse, you're making small repetitive movements of the same muscles over and over again for prolonged periods of time. And this can result in discomfort, pain, and possible injury over time. The pain can occur in the fingers and thumb, the hand, the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, the shoulder, and the neck. The other thing that can happen is instead of putting the mouse on a level surface where it's easy to, easy to reach, people are sometimes forced to keep the mouse way high or far away on a desk out of the way of the keyboard. So there's really no good place to put a mouse. Plus it overworks whichever hand you're using. There was an article online by Cyprian Adrian Rawson, and he talks about a computer app that actually counts the number of mouse clicks and keystrokes that you make in a day. And he did a little experiment with his own mouse usage, and he had some really interesting findings. He found that after one month of usage, he made 7,985 mouse clicks per weekday. And then on Sundays, when he played computer games, he made 48,955 clicks. That's a huge difference above 7,985. So here's my advice. Don't risk getting repetitive strain injury because of the mouse. Find yourself a good foot switch and program it to do whatever you do frequently and use that. There are also many other ways that you can avoid the mouse and these are gonna be in videos on my channel, including the one that's coming up right now. So be sure to watch that one.